hello everyone welcome back to learn in learn with yourself youtube channel in this video we will create a forum using excel okay as it is a very good forum data entry forum so to enter data easily using a forum you can add more fields also for example like state city and other fields you would like to add but i have written these five fields just to show you how to create a forum okay you can easily add more fields also so now let's check it okay right now you see this area we have static if we write a name here Zermina, okay press enter see the tick mark has came here because this we have a value inside it let's write something here see press enter tick mark has came registration number this is registration number of her and now let's select the female and after that see these three values are mandatory with us okay these three fields are mandatory with us so let's this address is optional with us so let's write uh, address okay this is our let's press submit button right now in the database we have just these uh, two four five records okay so now let's press the submit button after pressing submit button let's check the database see a new record has added to this database so this is an entry forum that we can create okay for student for employee for uh, whatever data you would like to enter so you can create a forum like this and you can add more fields also so let's get started to create this forum in this video before starting if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to like the video and subscribe our youtube channel yeah so for this uh, data entry forum so first of all i have written just these names you can add more fields also but i have written just these five fields a name father name registration number gender and attendance uh, address okay and also the database come to the database we have the same field name father name gender registration number and address i have written one record okay the reason for one record is that i will tell you okay whenever we reach to this um, area okay so now let's move to create first of all our um, forum okay so to create forum so let's increase the size of these rows control press control first of all selecting this row press control select this one press control this one this one and also this one so after selecting them just increase the size one of them see the size of all of them has increased and after that let's move to the home and make the text at the center yeah let's make it to the left side okay and after that let's decrease the size of these empty rows control press control press press and decrease the size of them yeah they looks like this uh, right now okay so now let's uh, um, just increase the size of this one also like this and decrease the size of this column let's make it here and bring it here and add column in this cell okay after adding the column just copy this copy it and press control this one this one and this one and this one and paste it so after pasting it so now let's design it uh, uh, let's just select this and bold it and also select this make it to the center and bold it that is okay so now let's increase the size of these fields okay so let's make it like this and after that let's decrease the size of this and now let's first of all add the gender option okay so for that we will come here to the developer so after coming to the developer if the developer was not available in your microsoft excel just click on your this ribbon then click on this customize the ribbon so after clicking this just come here check this developer uh, option okay after checking it press okay so after coming to the developer we will press here on um, insert after insert this is a checkbox uh, uh, option button okay so press this and after that uh, draw it here let's change the text of this or i will just remove this text okay let's remove this text i will leave just the empty radio button so make it like this after that let's write something in this field mail so also let's draw one another um, this uh, button okay so let's copy this press control then click it so it will select it copy it and paste it so after pasting it let's move and drag it 
yeah here okay let's write something else female here female okay it looks like this but let's remove one or two spaces so it is okay right now okay we have we have these radio buttons for gender and also let's add press this control control and control add border to these input fields um, outside thick outside border and after let's add to this one also okay it looks like this uh, and now let's uh, write here if this empty uh, area was empty if this input field was empty so here we should have a static otherwise we should have uh, a tick mark so let's write here a formula app let's write equal to app this select this cell and uh, come if it was equal to with empty string then we will draw we will write static otherwise one so close it and press enter right now it is empty we have static here okay let's make it to the center after that uh, copy this one and paste it in these areas also but these two are also uh, mandatory but these two are optional okay with the, the gender is uh, mandatory okay but the order address is optional with us paste it so we have it right, right now so after that now if right now let's write something here if this was there was something in this input field then we should have steric in this area okay instead of one so let's do it so we will select this one and also can press control this one and also this one so after that come here to the conditional formatting then come here to the new rule so in no rule format all cell based on their values okay we will select this one then come here and we will click on icon six icon sets so after that let's click here and no selection no cell icon and also here no selection so cell um, icon okay so here we will light one and here we will light zero and here show icon only we will show just the icon not the one okay let's press okay so i think we didn't change the icon new rule and that is okay icon six change the icon here we should select tick mark uh, right here one zero and show icon only okay so we have tick mark right now okay if we write something else let's check it see that has changed to tick tick mark so also let's change the um, format format this okay yeah that is okay like this now let's create a button here so we will create a button here let's drag it like this and here let's assign a background color this one so after assigning the background color now we will add a uh, conditional formatting and this button also but before that uh, 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 applying the button so first of all i will just uh, uh, use a count of formula here count a count a formula okay count a so it means we will just uh, um, find the count of these cells okay select this one comma this one's comma sorry comma this one's okay these mandatory cells N right now we have uh, values in two fields it means these two cells has value this one is empty if you write something in this also so it means that we have uh, the value in all three cells so now we will apply this condition okay this is very important that whenever we are applying condition on this uh, uh, button and also let's find this value of this male and female okay so to find the value of that press control and right click on this button then format control after that seal a link okay we will link a seal with this one so let's select this one so after select okay right now we know if we select this one it will be one if we select the female it will be two so we found everything okay so right now it is okay now we will use this area okay count area to uh, uh, apply on this button okay so let's apply conditional formatting on this button just come here to the new rules then we will come here to this use a formula to determine which cells to format okay we will use this and here we will write app equal to app yeah a equal to this cells was is equal to with three so then we will apply formatting on that okay if it means there was a text in all these three fields so then we will format these cells 
let's format it and inside the formatting we will bold it and also color should be white and fill it a green color and font border we can apply border on that and that is okay okay let's press okay now and press okay so right now it is it, it is green if we just uh, delete the text of one of them see that has became gray if we again write something that will be green with us okay so that is okay let's write something inside this submit make the changes to the center like this so we have applied this button okay so now uh, the last thing is that to copy this data to this database okay so to uh, copy the data first of all I will just come here and I will copy this data okay these are things this first cell is equal to or I can come here to the database and I will copy this area copy this and come here and paste it here somewhere down okay paste it so after pasting it now let's uh, link it is equal to we will link it with name and then we will link father name is equal to with father name after that uh, we have uh, gender so for the gender we will use f formula is equal to f this area was one was is equal to with one we will print sorry if this was one so then we will write male else we will write female female press enter so right now that is female because that is two if I select male so that is uh, select this one th that has changed to male and for the registration number write equal write a registration number so after that we have address equal to we will write this cell press enter so after writing this uh, uh, text okay we linked all these cells with this form now it is the time to copy okay to uh, select uh, uh, it means to move to the developer tab and uh, record a macro okay to record a macro that means that we will copy all this uh, first of all we will uh, record a macro copy this data to the database then we will stop it so let's do it okay first of all i will write something uh, write all this area uh, a new record ahmad and Station number mail address something like this okay so after writing this now let's record a macro so press this record a macro okay so after recording the macro let's copy this area this text after copying this text okay copy the text upper copy after copying the text come here to the database select this name after selecting this press control down arrow key okay control down arrow key then turn on this use the relative reference and then press down arrow come down and press control v paste it okay so we should paste it as uh, value okay let's select this one after pasting as value now let's select the arrow key we will come here to the right side after coming to the right side come here to the forum after coming to the four delete all values from this delete this one this one this one and also this one and select in this area so then stop the recording so after start stopping stop the recording so now we will apply it on this button okay let's uh, write something in this area Salim select mail like this okay so now let's apply right click on this button and let's come here to assign macro okay uh, 
a clear content that means why we can't apply a macro on this cell so let's take a copy of this okay i will first of all i will uh, cut it okay let's cut it and come here down and paste it here so after pasting it now let's uh, uh, copy this Control c copy it after copying it let's uh, uh, paste it as just come here to the home menu and paste it as image okay paste it as image after pasting as image let's make it like this so now let's right click on this then assign a macro so after assigning a macro let's press macro one and press ok so after that now let's click it okay let's press the submit button and before pressing the submit button let's come here to the view menu and press this grid line to remove all the things and also let's change the text color of this to white we should not see that okay now let's press the submit button this new record should be inserted here okay right now we are uh, we have two records let's press submit button see a new record has inserted come here to the database see Jamil Salimin this is a new record which has inserted so like this we can insert a new record let's add a new record press the submit button see whenever you press the submit button the screen has wrapped okay it means uh, it is shocked okay we can uh, saw the screen as updating okay so to uh, turn up this screen updating so for that we will move again to the developer tab to the visual basics after come here to the uh, module so after come press this module one and just come here here write application dot screen updating is equal to false so after that let's save it so after saving it we should save it as macro enabled okay in excel macro enabled workbook and assign a name to this uh, that is um, entry forum and we should store it inside the documents and press ok so after storing it let's close it okay, now let's come again. again let's insert one another record and select this mail and also address now press submit button see the screen didn't check ok let's check it at the address uh, the database see a new record has inserted so it was all about creating a data entry forum using excel i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to like this video comment down and thanks for watching